past 26 visual basic dot net 2012 here login type 2 already we studied part 25 login type and here we will use how to use binding source form using the binding source form same thing we are doing the first form i will do using the normal numbers one two three four as a login number this is my coding i am filtering the username and password there is two text box i'm doing next to form what i am doing is this is my form one login one is my table name can you see login one my table name this is my data password and username i given here i will use the another form i will use the uh, coding here this is form 2 coding but i will use text instead of that uh, this is login character this is my uh, another one login character this is my login character design can you see use name and power one this is my data girija gmail and girija123 hindu at yahoo.com one two three four this way again combination of numbers and then the table items so both i will see how it is how it is working so now i'll run and i check it now this is my form one form one i'm run so the form one you can see here one two three four I'll work one, two, three, four. That's it. Login successful. Suppose I give one, two, three. You can see incorrect login. It is not correct login. It is not matching with the filtered one. Then now I will go and check with form two. Form two, how it is working. So what is my data? Girija is coming. Anyway, I will give Hindu. Hindu at yahoo.com. And I will give one here. Dot com. 1234 successfully login. Suppose I'll give 4 incorrect login. It is not matching, both is not matching. That's why it's not coming. Now I give, I'll give 4. So this is a method I will use the login. Uh, the login, the previous one, what I did was I use if then statement, I do the lot of things here coding is very simple the coding as i am showing is very simple for you so you can see here also coding coding like if login count one if login count is one then you can see what then message box successfully login otherwise incorrect login. last time we use the if if in the filtering source itself i did it so this is another way we can use the login and username incorrect login user 